This is coffee exam question 1E2. This is where the excess question comes in. So in this question, we have to compare the original distribution, the normal distribution, with a mean of 7 and a standard deviation of 0 0.3 to this new one of Alexa making coffee. So we need to compare the three things. The shape, the centre, and the spread. So looking at the shape of the coffee that Alexa makes, if we draw a rough sketch over the top of that shape, see what it looks like. It looks like it's got a longer tail to the right. It looks a little right skewed. So we should say that when we talk about the shape, um, the other staff's coffee isn't skewed because it's normally distributed. It's a symmetrical graph. So Alexa's coffee is a slightly right skew compared to the rest of the staff. Every now and then she makes a coffee with way too much coffee in it. Um, next we should talk about the centre. And we've been given information about the centre. Put two numbers here. Best to use the mean since that's what we know about the um, the other staff, their mean is 7, and this mean is 7.18. So Alexa is also using a little bit more coffee than everybody else. So we should say that. Um, each of these statements is to be a comparative statement. So that one is more than the other. So this word up here, compare, is really important. It doesn't say describe. So we can't just describe the two distributions. We have to make a comparison between the two. And the last thing we should talk about is the spread. The measure we've got for the spread uh, for the other staff is 0 0.3, where it's the standard deviation. The standard deviation is 0 0.3 for the experienced staff. And we need to compare that to what Alexa is doing. We can't calculate the standard deviation exactly um, from this data, but what we can look at is the range. Because it's nearly normally distributed, we can say that the range is approximately six standard deviations. So the range for this one is 8.6 minus 6.4. The range is about 2.2 grams. So the standard deviation is about 2.2 divided by 6. It's about 0.367 grams. That's more variation than the other staff had. The other staff had a variation of 0.3 grams. So we should say that it's more variable. If you have those three statements, three comparative statements about the center, the spread, and the shape, comparing them, talking about them, then that would get you your excellent answer. For the second excellent tick, that second T, we need to answer this last part of the question. We need to suggest how she should try to change the way she makes coffee. So Alexa should use a little bit less coffee because she needs to bring her mean down from seven uh, from 7.2 down to 7, so she should use less coffee. And she's not quite as consistent as the other staff. She should try to be more consistent. And so those two suggestions give us an idea of how she should change the way she makes her coffee to be more like the other staff.